What's going on guys, Dylan here, and I'm back with another video. I appreciate all the support over the last couple days. I've been putting out some content and messages like this have been rolling in and that means a lot to me. So in exchange for your goodwill to me, I wanted to make another video for you guys on how to create winning ads the first try and keep your clients happy without wasting their money on testing so you can ultimately retain them. Because remember, it always costs significantly less to keep a current customer than it does to acquire a new one. So let's get into it. So I had just sold, this is back in 2021, early 2021, I just sold three gyms on a 5K setup fee. And at the time, I was in this program that theoretically gave me winning ads for the gym niche. But, you know, I copied and pasted the ad, new ads onto my client's account. And this happened. $97 lead. If you get $97 for a lead for your client, they're going to be pissed. And my clients were as well. And because of this, it caused a lot of anxiety. As you can imagine, every single morning I woke up and I anxiously checked my ads manager. At one time, I promised myself I would not check my ads manager for the day because I needed to relax for a week or for the first time in a week and I couldn't do it. I had to end up checking it and it just wasn't ever good. And then because I had no what idea what to do, I reached out to others and asked for help. But I was ghosted because I was reaching out to people that were in the same industry as me and why would they want to tell me what was working for them because otherwise I'd potentially take them out of business. So with my back against the wall, I started to analyze one hundreds of Facebook ads. And then eventually I just figured it out and I discovered the secret to almost never failing with Facebook ads again. And as soon as I implemented this, this is what happened. This is the same campaign. It went from $97 to down to $2 and 59 cents, which is flat out ridiculous. But in this video, I'm going to teach you three things. First of all, the number one thing that I was not doing, first of all, and the number one thing that causes your Facebook ads to fail and also how to prevent it. Then I'm going to talk about how to ethically hack your competition and almost never fail with ads again. And then at last, I'm going to share how to analytically manage ads and avoid audience fatigue. So let's get into it here. So the number one thing that causes your Facebook ads to fail and how to prevent it. So if you don't create an irresistible mousetrap offer for your clients, you will fail. Remember that. Screenshot this. Post it on your freaking whiteboard. Go to your whiteboard, write this down right now. If you do not create an irresistible mousetrap offer for your clients, you will fail. What is a mousetrap offer, you might be asking. A mousetrap offer works by giving the prospect some cheese to get them in the door and then locking them in at full price afterwards. So formulas to create mousetrap offers could be when on the front end you offer a free trial. But on the back end, your client upsells them into a paying customer. On the front end, you offer a huge discount to another upsell. On, or it could be offering a huge discount because you know that that customer will turn into a long-term customer if by nature you have a recurring business model. This is your clients I'm talking about. Another one is free X when you book Y. Make some ridiculous offer that people almost think is too good to be true. But it is too good to be true because once they come in the door, they get upsold or turn into a recurring customer. So what this looks like in action, some examples are a 497 ceramic coating. Anybody in the industry who knows that knows anything about ceramic coating knows that ceramic coatings are usually at least a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars. But you can get them in the door with an irresistible offer like that, and then help your clients upsell them or turn them into long-term customers afterwards. The Cairo niche, a twenty-one dollar adjustment. They come in for twenty-one bucks. Any who's going to turn down a twenty-one dollar chiropractor adjustment? Imagine for only twenty-one dollars, you get to go and feel like you're twenty years younger again. Anybody wants that? So they come in, they sit down, they get cracked around and whatnot, and the next thing you know. They're sold on a weekly recurring package, and that's how your customer or your client makes money. Sash niche free trial. That's the classic one. Here's the free trial. Test it out. Get hooked on it and then become a paying customer. Landscaping niche. Maybe you offer a free grass cut when you book a hedge trim. Then when people do that, they turn into weekly paying customers. So next step, how to ethically hack your competition and almost never fail with ads again because I say almost because come on. It's not going to be perfect. Nothing is perfect. But I can shell you, tell you that by without a doubt in my mind, this is the best way to run and set up your ads. So method number one, leveraging the Facebook ads library. So I'm going to give you guys a live example of what this looks like. So let's say, for example, we are in the auto detailing niche. So first of all, you're going to go on a Facebook ads library. Then you go to Canada or US or whatever country you're from. 
or whatever country you're targeting in, then you can go to, you know, let's say uh, detailing. You can just type detailing. And then what you're going to see is all the current ads that are out on Facebook already being run, right? These ads people are already spending money on. So now what you want to look for here is you want to find ads that are old because if the ad has been around for two months, you know it's a winner because either it is some ginormous company that is just willingly wasting money or it is an idiot who is willingly wasting money or which is probably the more likely option, the ads making money. If the ads making money, we can model it. We don't copy it, but we can model it for our own clients and use it with them. The other thing that may be an indicator that this ad is a winning ad is if you see the ad pop up frequently. So I've only been scrolling for a couple minutes here and I've seen this style of ad there once. I've seen it again. I've seen it another time. Keep going. That's kind of similar as well. There's another similar ad. Okay. Keep scrolling, keep scrolling, keep scrolling. Okay. Now I see a lot of this type of ads. Okay. This one looks very similar. Okay. These ads are probably winning ads because why would this company be spending so much money on an ad that is not performing? Okay. So once we find a winning ad, we go to see ad details. We can model this. We don't copy it. We can also, sometimes you'll come here and you'll see there's like see ad details. You can click the three dots and more information will come up and then you can fully funnel hack the entire ad. So getting back into the service delivery masterclass, that is method one with the Facebook ad library. So the criteria in order is the longer the ad has been running, the better the ad is, or the more likely it is to be a winning ad because if the ad has been running for two months, it's probably not losing money because why would somebody do that? The second thing is that if you see the ad appear many times, it's also likely a winner for the same principle in that if a company is spending so much money on the same ad, why would they be doing that unless they already knew it was a winner? Now, the second, now before I get into the second way to create winning ads, I wanted to say real quick, if you want free SMMA coaching with absolutely no catch, click below once a week, hop on a call, me and two other 20K a month agency owners will teach you everything you need to know. Any questions you have answered immediately, customized help, live calls, just like as if you were sitting in the room on the other side of this table with me. Or if you're like super, super serious about your SMMA and you definitely want to get your first client in the next 30 days, we have a 30 day to first client challenge. You can check out in the description, but let's get back to business here. So second method you can do is the case study funnel hack. Now, this is the better way of doing it, but I will tell you right now, it's a little bit more complicated to pull off. So what you do is you search your niche and then Facebook ads case study into Google. What will come up is case studies from successful agencies in your niche. What you want to do is you want to read the case studies slash testimonials for this and note the client's name. Once you've done that, you want to head to Facebook and search for their client. Visit the client's Facebook ads library and then model this for your own client. Now, I will warn you right now, this takes time. This, you might be spending two, three, four hours just to find a client because a lot of agencies will safeguard the work that they do for their clients. And so that is why this one takes time. But to make things easier for you guys, I found I'm just going to pull up a client that Tony Lee and I work with. And so basically you say you searched, you know, auto detailing niche and you came across your agency and then you found our testimonial that we have. Then you would come on and search up our client's name. You would go to the Facebook ads library, go to ads library, and you could see their ads right here. And you could see that the, an agency that you know is successful, people that you know are successful are running these ads. So they're probably going to work as well. Now, how do analytically manage your ads and avoid audience fatigue because one of the biggest issues that we run into especially serving local audiences and local businesses is that maybe we found a winning ad that works for a week and then cpm goes up cost per lead goes up our clients get mad downward 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 spiral so how do we avoid that well we analytically manage our ads and i'm going to show you exactly how to do that so First thing that you're going to do is you're going to click that link in the description and you're going to download this sheet. And basically what this is, is a paid media funnel tracker. Then at the end of every single day 
or in the morning of, depends on your, if an early bird or a night owl, you're going to come into here and you're going to put in how much ad spend did you spend on one single campaign? How many impressions did you get? What was your reach? How many link clicks did you get? And what was your Facebook leads? And the reason why these are the only metrics that we are going to be taking care of is because these are the only metrics that actually mean something. And these are the only metrics that actually matter. Okay. So now that we have our metrics in place, obviously these are dummy metrics, but you can see as we, as, but as we have these in place, we can begin to analyze these from an analytical perspective, see where the bot problem with our current service delivery is. So we know what to split test and what to address. So getting into it. Say we spent $100 on ads, our impressions, our reach, our frequency is still under two, which is good. Our cost PM are good. Our Facebook link clicks is 50. Oh no, our Facebook click through rate is only 0.5%. This means our ad is not getting many clicks. So write this down. When our ad is not getting many clicks, the first thing that we test is a new creative. If our ad, if we test a new creative and our ad is still not getting many clicks, then we test a new copy and headline. Okay. First creative, then the copy. Now say we just did this. Okay. We created a new copy, new headline, and then all of a sudden we get 200 clicks. I'm just being exaggerated with the numbers here for audience or for demonstration purposes. Now we can look that, you know, our ad spend, da, 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 our frequency is so good. Our click through rate is 2%. That means a lot of people are clicking the ad. That means it's a really good ad, but we only have 20 leads. And with 200 people, we only have 20 leads. That's only a 10% form conversion rate. This means our Facebook form is not good. And so many people neglect the instant form, but you have to remember that anytime somebody clicks on the form, their biggest fear is that if they give you their contact information, you are just going to try and sell them or your client is just going to try and sell them. So they don't want to give you their contact information. And that's why you always have to position the form as giving them something that is worth so much more than their contact information or introducing and adding scarcity. Enter your contact information to claim one of the last 10 spots for this offer. You know, enter your contact information to get a free phone consultation as to how you can lose 20 pounds in the next six weeks, right? That is a lot more enticing for people to enter their contact and for this to enter their contact information as opposed to enter your contact information so we can contact you, which is most of the time what people do not want. So in this case, we would want to start split testing new and different forms. So to recap, if your click through rate is low, first you test a new creative, then you test new copy. Then if your Facebook lead conversion is low, then you test new forms, you test new headlines with your form, you test new offers with your form. Now, if your entire campaign, like if your CPM is high and everything is bad, go back into the Facebook ads library, rewind this video by five to 10 minutes and just completely create a new ad from scratch. Now, in the case where you do have winning ads, right? Say this ad is good, but the Facebook form conversion is a little bit low, right? In that case, you would duplicate the ad that's already performing. First of all, if you have an ad that is profitable, that is making money, never turn it off because otherwise you're just wasting, you're just losing, you're just saying no to money at that point. So in that case, you would duplicate the ad that's already making money, but maybe doesn't have the best form conversion and split test a new form, compare ad A to, to ad B, whichever one performs better. And you can track that through the paid media funnel tracker that is in the description. Make a copy of this. Don't request for access because I ain't giving it to you, but you can use this, make a copy for your own company. You can see which one's performing better, cut the losers, scale the winners. And that is how you use analytics and numbers to predictably and guarantee you're going to be able to constantly be running profitable ads for your clients. So now you might be wondering, why am I giving this kind of information away? And the reason is because my goal is to help you make five to 15 K a month with your agency for free, because I personally make my money by partnering up with people that are at that point to help them scale to $25,000 a month and beyond. So here's how I can help you get to your first $5,000 a month. Number one, you can join my free SMMA coaching calls. However, the last one at the recording of this video, the last one filled up in two days, we limit it to 25 spots to make sure that the calls are actually high quality. And it's not just me talking the entire time and people can actually contribute, but we do have a wait list available. You can sign up for that wait list and you'll get an email as soon as spots are open. You're just going to have to act fast on that. Second thing that you can do is you can join the public 
RSC Discord server. Yes, we have a private RSC Discord, which is closed to the public and only the elite entrepreneurs are in there, but the public RSC Discord is welcome. We're open arms, happy to help anybody who's interested. Or at last, if you're super, like if you're actually serious about making things happen, you can join the 30 days to first client challenge, which is again, free. Okay, there is a catch with that one. You have to deposit some money because there's absolutely no way I'm gonna be dedicating seven days a week of my time to help you if you are not willing to reciprocate that kind of commitment and put just a little bit of money in the game, especially knowing that you're going to get it back after the first 30 days. So with that, if you enjoy this video and you want more free value, hit that subscribe button and I will be dropping videos just like this, one, two, maybe sometimes three times a week. I don't know, it depends on my schedule. So hit the bell for post notifications so you don't miss out. Peace.